Hey everyone, guess what? Another Y2K streetwear box is here. I ordered another box from Goodwill Blue Box. Surprise, surprise. And if you didn't see my last Y2K box, it was amazing to say the least. Uh, I received in that box a ton of Harley Davidson uh, men's t-shirts, women's Harley Davidson shirts, a bunch of NFL t-shirts, some long sleeve NFL, it was just a fantastic box. I will try to link the video up above if I can figure out how to do it so that you could see that box as well. Uh, it was just so good that I'm a little worried about this box. I may have too high of expectations. Not every Goodwill Blue Box I've gotten was amazing, but we're going to try and go for it again. So this box that I received, I've actually had this box like two weeks or more. I actually forgot, don't ask me how, but I forgot that I ordered it. Uh, my daughter ended up moving to North Carolina and I had to help her and it was just a very fast move and yeah, the box came in while I was gone and out of town and I forgot about it and I came across it after I got home. So we are gonna open this bad boy and see what we have inside. If you're new here, my name is Tanya. I am a part-time reseller. I thrift for fun and I thrift for profit. Uh, I've been a reseller for about two and a half years now and I do this part-time. I resell on eBay and Poshmark and sometimes Facebook Marketplace. And if you're interested in that kind of thing, think about subscribing to my channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me and it helps other people see these videos. Uh, I do like getting these Goodwill Blue Boxes because a lot of people in the United States are still having a hard time sourcing and this is a good way to source in my opinion. I have made my money back and then some on these Goodwill Blue Boxes and they're the mystery boxes. You can only get them on Fridays. They drop uh, every Friday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Uh, you'll have to change the time for you, whichever time that is for you and you have to be fast. If you're not on there right at 5 p.m., you are not gonna get a box that you want. So I have not ordered one lately. The last box that I got, I got some comics for my husband. If you would like to see the comics that I got for him or that came in that Goodwill Blue Box, just let me know in the comments and I can make a real quick video of that of what he got. It was like 20 comics. It was supposed to be 20 comics for $20 and I believe he got like 25 comics. And there were some comics in there that were from like the 70s. So really cool. I do not know anything about comics. I'm not even going to act like I do. Uh, but he does. And he was super excited to get them. So I can shoot a quick video on that. If you like, just let me know. Okay, are you all ready to get into this box? Cross your fingers that this one is even half as good as the last one. If it's half as good, I'm going to be happy about that. So this one came from Kingsport, Tennessee. Honestly, I don't remember where the last one came from. For some reason, I want to say Florida, but I'm not positive. I really, I don't remember. It might be in my last video. I may have said it in that one, but we're going to go ahead and open this box up. Uh, if you could tell, this box is actually bigger than what they normally come in. So maybe that's a good thing. I don't know, about to find out though. It did get some damage on the way, it looks like. All right, let's see what we got. Are y'all excited for this one? I know I am excited for this one. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. Okay, I see some shiny in here. It feels like, almost feels like there's a coat in here, but we're about to find out. All right, so here we go. Y2K and Streetwear Wholesale, 20 pieces. I paid $49.99 for this box. They charge you $5 flat rate for shipping. For any of the boxes that you get, it's a $5 flat rate. And again, it came from Kingsport, Tennessee. So here is my invoice, which I'll keep for my taxes. Okay, y'all, because they're kind of just like all thrown in here. So let's see what we got. Oh, these are nice. These will these will do very well. These are Tommy Jean shorts, and they are short shorts, but these are vintage. You can see the Tommy Jeans right there. They're women's, and they are in excellent condition. These are nice, nice square short. I like those. 
Oh, the nice. What do we have here? Oh, this is Adidas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Windbreaker jacket. Very nice. Check that out. That's nice. This will do well. Very, very well. And it's a size 2XL. Yep. This will do well. It's got, looks like it has some marks back here, right here. But I'll just throw it in the washer. So, yep. Nice pullover windbreaker jacket. That's a nice one. All right. What else we got here? Oh, what's this? This is a trackside by Checkered Flag Sports. It's an Ernie Irvin shirt. All right. That's pretty sweet. 1993 at the Sears Point Raceway in Sonoma, California. That's cool. It has a lot of yellowing on it. I don't know if you can really uh, see this in the camera or not, but the colors are very vivid. So that's really nice. The Kodak car, that's good. I will put this and soak it in some OxyClean and it should help out that yellow quite a bit. But it's not, It's it actually smells good. <laughs> It smells like somebody laundered it, <laughs> but I don't think they did. If they did, they won't launder it the way that I do. So, all right, here's a vintage Reebok, looks like, USA shirt. It's a nice little shirt. Okay. Okay, is this a Lakers jacket? No. This is a Minnesota starter jacket. Are you kidding me? I think, look, this may be a youth size. I'm not positive. It does kind of look like a youth jacket. But seriously? On a starter tag. A pro-line starter tag. NFL. You got to be joking. Look at that. It's like the bomber jacket style. Look at that. I cannot, I cannot believe this. This is like great. I mean, it's, it could definitely fit a woman. That's for sure. It does have a hole right there. It looks like a burn hole. But that's the only real flaw that I see. Yeah, I like that. I'm not, I am a Bears fan, y'all know. So Minnesota is not my favorite team, but I don't care when it comes to reselling. <laughs> nope. Sure don't. Okay, we got a big flag coming. Now, I do like to sell Tommy Hilfiger, but I only sell vintage Tommy Hilfiger. And this one is going to do great. It is the bold yellow with the big flag on the front. And it's a 2X. Nice, nice. It's got the nice ribbed. I really like this a lot. Yep, that's going to make me some decent money right there, too. These Y2K boxes, man, if you can get your hands on one of them, you got to do it. You got to do it. If you can get your hands on one of these, you have to. Oh, man, here we go. Another NASCAR. I love me some NASCAR shirts. This one is on Lee Sports Tag. And we got a Dale Earnhardt. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. If y'all don't know, he died in a wreck racing. Yep, he sure did. Let's see if this has a year on it. Uh, I don't see one, but that's an old tag. See the tag right here? All right. That's a, it's an extra large too. That's in really good condition. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, okay. So this last, my last Goodwill blue box, I got a bunch of Harley Davidson and a lot of, um, NFL, football, NCAA, that kind of stuff. It's this this one looks like I'm getting a lot of NASCAR, which I'm super happy with that too. I really don't have any NASCAR in either one of my stores right now, so this would be a great addition to my stores. I'm I'm really happy about that. All right, this one. Oh, this is a Rusty Wallace when he drove the Miller uh, Genuine Draft car. Nice. Look at that. That's nice. Oh, and this is size extra large, made in USA on the Hunter tag. 
It looks like it has some marks on the back of it, but I don't care. I will try to get those out the best that I can and sell it as is, but I don't see, I don't see any rips or holes or tears or any of that. That's a nice graphic right there. Nice graphic. <laughs> this guy, this is another, uh, on a USA tag. This is the Skull Car, Harry Gant. Number 33, I do not know this NASCAR driver, but easy enough to look up, and it's 1990, so that's awesome. That is awesome. There we go. That's a good one. It's got a nice, great, bright graphic on it. Typical 90s colors. Girl. All right, what do we got? Oh, another scratch. Oh, this is Nike. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love selling these. Color block. Oh, look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Heck yeah. That's great. Oh, look at this tag. Look at this Nike tag. I'm going to have to look up the year on this one. Tell me if, does anybody know what the year is for this one? Let me know if you do. Let me know. Yep, this has the hood. I don't see any rips or holes or tears. Goodwill blue box. Ugh. Y2K. Get that Y2K box. Just throwing that out there. Do you get any of the boxes? My best ones that I've gotten were by far these Y2K boxes, if you can get one. Here comes another vintage Nike. This is a big old sweatshirt. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That's stitched. Let me see if I can get that a little closer for you. See if you can see that. That's like stitched all the way around. There's the tag. And then it also has it on the back of the neck. It's very thick and soft. Super soft. And the tag is very worn, but it does look like it says it's an extra large, but it's, it's an oversized extra large, maybe. It's very good size. It does have a stain right here, which we will definitely try to get out, but that's okay. You know that that's very possible with these Goodwill Blue Boxes. So if you do uh, order the Y2K or you order the vintage wholesale one, just know that some of the pieces in there may have stains on them. So, but if you don't normally sell vintage, you may not know, but it doesn't matter. A lot of the times, if it has a stain on there or whatever, and it's just not like too crazy, if people want that shirt, they're still going to buy it, stain or no stain. So, don't throw something away just because it has a stain on it, especially if it's vintage. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Like my last box, Harley Davidson, the two uh, women's Harley Davidson tops that I got in my last Y2K box already sold. So those are already gone. And I love this one. Diva girl. That is nice, nice. This is out of Hickory, North Carolina. Yep. That one will sell very well, very well. Size medium, lots of bling on it. That's at least a $25 shirt, at least. And that's if I want to flip it fast. Oh, a little Victoria's Secret top. Is this a top? Oh, I think this might be pajamas, maybe? Because it's really long and it's an extra small. I think this is like a pajama top. That's cute. It's got the little cherries on there. It's not a bad little shirt, little night shirt. Victoria's Secret almost always sells, so that's usually not an issue. Uh, this is 1997, whatever it is. Let's see. This is a Fun Fest from 1997, Kingsport, Tennessee. They must have had a band maybe there, a Fun Fest. Oh, yep. It's like uh, treasure hunts and all kinds of stuff. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Little t-shirt. People like uh, event t-shirts and stuff like that. That's okay. Okay, what do we got next? Oh, so much fun.
so much fun. All right, just a little Nike, like running top, workout top. Yep, nothing wrong with that. It's a medium, women's medium. Still a good time for that. Those always sell. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> what is this? Is this like a knockoff Harley Davidson? I think it could be. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. This is actually, it's made in the USA. It is not on a Harley tag. It's on a Signal Sports. Has anybody ever seen that tag before? This tag is new to me. I've never seen it before. And it's got Harley Davidson on the front of it. It says Legacy of Freedom. So I don't know if this is, you know, just a knockoff that somebody made or I don't know. It still says Harley Davidson on it, though. Still says it. Oh, okay. We have a brand new. Do I have the pants? I don't think so. No, dang it. This says it was a two piece, but it's just the jacket, which is okay. But feel is coming back around. It's become popular again. Oh no, this is very damaged. Yeah, it is. It does still have a tag on it, but it's really dead. Like, see? <laughs> That's really not fixable. I mean,. There isn't anything that you can do with that. I'm not even sure why they sent that to me because you can't fix that. <laughs> no big deal. I can deal with a piece. I can deal with a piece or two when you get good stuff. Oh, this is nice. This is another pullover. This is Nike. It says extra large, so... I'm assuming this is an extra large youth, but it's just a um, like a nylon scratchy popover. That's pretty nice though. It's got the pockets in the front. So yeah, that's good though. Yeah, it's an 1820 in a youth. So I mean, it could be a women's small. Okay, I'll take this too. Another vintage Tommy. Nice sweater. Looky there. It's pretty nice. It's got the nice button up, taller neck. It's got the flag down each arm. So that's nice. It's ribbed. Yeah, that's a good piece. And it's a women's, a larger size. Should keep this for myself. <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice top. I like that. I might keep this for myself. I don't know. What do you think? Should I keep it or should I sell it? Keep it or sell it? What do you think? Knowing me, I'll probably sell it. I only keep the cheap stuff usually. <laughs> I keep the cheap stuff for myself. So we'll see. We'll have to see. If I try it on and I love it, I might have to keep it. That's, that's one of the best parts of being a reseller. If you love clothes, and shoes and purses and just all that kind of good stuff become a reseller because then you can just switch out your wardrobe all the time and it doesn't cost you anything because after you're sick of it you just turn around and resell it it's a win-win for everybody okay and last but not least we have another Nike t-shirt on a definite vintage Nike tag and it looks like to be in good condition got a little crackling on the Nike part which is cool There's nothing wrong with that all right so we were supposed to get 20 pieces so I'm pretty sure we did but we're gonna count them out and just see what we got okay One, two, Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
18, 19, and the broken 20. So we got all 20 pieces for $55, hands down. I'll probably make that back on two pieces. And so that still gives me 17 extra pieces to sell. So totally worth it. Absolutely recommend Goodwill Blue Box, Y2K, Streetwear Box. I've, the last two that I've gotten were amazing. And that's probably the boxes that I will try for from now on. If it's not this one, then it's the vintage one that they have. And I think it's a little more expensive than this one. I think it's 75 maybe. I can't remember. But uh, that one, I had really good luck with that as well. I have a video on that one. Uh, I have a video on every single box that I have got from there. So if you go back through my old videos, um, check them out and see the kind of stuff that I've been getting from there. All of these boxes have been within the last few months. So it's all pretty current. I hope you liked the video. It was a great box as usual. I can't complain at all. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing to my channel. And that way you can see all the different mystery boxes that I get. So I hope you all have a good week and we will see you in the next video. Bye.